Well, that's good progress for two days. Only about maybe an hour and a half of, uh, that was probably an hour and a half yesterday and maybe an hour today. Um, I've got all of the rebar for inside the footings laid into place and ready to tie up. Um, these uprights are my leveling stakes. And here's the other grid for the other support of the uh, glue lamb beam um, three foot wall that supports that. And it's Sunday and it's starting to get really hot out here and the real work starts when I start wiring up these these things and I want to get them nice and neat for the inspector. All right, we're going to sign off for Sunday. I'm not sure the date, let's see. The date is uh, October 4th. Starting to raise this up and secure it in place and then I bent all of these here. There's two piles, one for the shorter section, one for the taller section. All right. And then we'll go around and probably add some more leveling stakes. Some of these are not leveling stakes, they're just there to hold up the, the rebar. These are the shorter ones here. They'll go in like so about six inches from the string perfect and it's just time consuming work um, we got the everything wired together and our uprights and uh, they'll get straightened out and the boards will get be attached a little bit better before the pour but everything is is pretty tight already nice and tight and they're going to go anywhere and i've got leveling stakes there's one right here that's the level of our of our footing and there's another one here and here and we got the laser level working so all of those are done on this side uh, but most everything is in place. Uh, the white is the is a rubberized um, 
roof coating so it won't transfer any uh, rust from the ground if you're asked if you're wondering about that um, this is the front here we're not going to about worry about leveling we're just going to fill the footing with a with it and then form up the front when we do the final pour okay so that's the progress for today just to get an idea how that looks these rebar on the top are just temporary to hold um, the uprights in place and secure everything so when they pour the concrete it doesn't knock them over and these will these will get bent over and tie into the 24 inch on the center grid of rebar for the whole slab so we're getting there catch you on the next one subscribe all that stuff